welcome back to our channel. I'm going to set up my solar panels on my roof of my van and I'm going to take you along and show you how to set up this solar kit. This is the second time I've installed solar panels. Last time was on our bus. Um, so I feel pretty confident. I actually really like this job. Stefano gave it to me with the excuse that he's too heavy to go on the roof so I have to do it but I don't mind it. I get a nice tan at the same time. Um, and we have a little bit of a curve in our roof, which is gonna make it a little bit trickier, but I'll show you how we're gonna work around that. So let's see what's in the kit. All right, I have the 300 watt kit from Renogy. So I have three 100 watt panels that I'm gonna pop the feet on now. This is the kit and what comes in it. We have our solar charge controller. These two boxes have the feet for the solar panels and the screws. We have our Bluetooth um, system. This is the housing for the cables to go from the solar panel down into the roof of the van. These are our solar connectors, though I think we might need to buy some with extensions we did last time. And we actually have a lot of cable. So this cable is looks like it's all six aug or six AWG, okay. So this one's gonna come down from the solar. This comes from the positive down from the solar. And this is going to go in the solar charge controller. This one is coming down from the negative. And this is going in the solar charge controller. And they're going down here. And then this one looks like it goes to the battery. I forgot what we do with those, but we'll figure it out. So we have plenty of cables. We're probably gonna have to cut these and then we'll reuse them to wire the fuse box. So the first thing that we need to do is put our feet on. So the feet come with two sets of screws. These, whenever screws are ended like this, they go into metal. So these screws are to put it in the roof and then these ones are to put the feet on the solar panels. I'm gonna position my feet here and then we just pop a bolt in here. These screws will screw it down to the roof. Okay, so each solar panel comes with these. Two washers, a bolt, and I'm calling this a squiggly thing. So we decided, I don't know if this is right, to go washer and then put the foot on and then put the second washer on the other side of the foot, the squiggly thing, and then the bolt. So that's how we're doing it. And the foot of the panel will go in the middle here. The screw with the one washer is up, washer, squiggly thing. What is this, a nut? Voila! Washer, squiggly thing. So I don't forget what order. Bolts. So this is what it'll look like. Washer on the bottom, washer on the top. And then I will take the spare and tighten all these. All right, now we are going to tighten all of these with a spanner. I think it's called a socket. So I have a number 10. So I've got to hold the bolts on the bottom with the spanner and then put this on top and turn it to tighten all of these. Okay, we're so 
<laughs> trial and error all the feet are on i've tightened them all and now it is time to get up on the roof put them on the roof secure them with screws maybe some butyl tape and silicon okay this is our solar situation on the roof we installed this today we have our three 100 watt panels the feet have been put on them by yours truly and now i'm going to secure them down so i have my tools pre-drill drill butyl tape and i just need my screws which are lost but then i found and uh some silicon and we're good all right i am putting butyl tape underneath all of the feet and i'm making sure that the butyl tape is going to go underneath where the screws go in the holes to help secure the screws i don't think you need to do this but i think it's best to be careful with installing stuff on your roof and making sure they're not going to fly off especially because they're expensive so i'm just going to tape all of those and then screw them in <laughs> So um, I forgot to cut the zip ties that hold the uh, cables together. So before I finish, Stefan is just cutting this. <laughs> Make sure you do that. That would have been really bad. Well, no, because I can just pick it up here. Hmm. This is what happens when I'm not supervised. To connect the solar panels to each other, you have to connect all of the positives together so that at the end, you end up with just one positive end to go down into the van. And then you do the same with the negatives. You hook all the negatives together. So one negative from one panel, one negative from the other panel, one negative from the third panel, and then you will end up with just one negative that will go down through the solar housing into the roof of the van. We didn't really show it really well here, but if you watch it really slow, you can see these are the negatives and these are the positives. And then you need to lay them down somewhere where they're safe and flat. You need to make sure that they will reach your cable housing and then you can install the panels after. All right, we've changed the configuration of them so that the solar connectors here will actually fit each other. Um, if you have them too far apart, you're just gonna need to get solar branch extensions they're pretty cheap from amazon you can get them in three feet five feet ten feet but so that we didn't have to do that we just put ours right next to each other and then this is the little solar uh cable housing that will take it down into the van so i've just secured the first two <laughs> i have to put silicone in those holes i made that was easy so i'm just pre-drilling the holes and then I am using this guy. They're not normal screws. So they have this like hexagonal end on them. So we are using a 5/16 socket from our handy socket kit to screw them in. There we go. First panel screwed in. Two more to go.
is the final product for today. Everything is all secured. Those are my connectors. I have to still find these holes. All right, I siliconed my little oopsies. And now I'm going to silicone around the feet. We really like using this silicone Dynaflex because it's specifically like outdoor and weatherproof and stuff. So the trick is to get your fingers wet to make it like nice and smooth. So let's go. And then we're done for the day. Here is my little frosting job. I've done all of them. It really only took like five minutes. These ones. We're done for the day. Just in time for the sunset. Finally, I am done. It's about sunset. That took longer than I thought, only because we had to move the panels around a little bit. So just make sure securing the panels down is the last thing you do after you make sure all the connectors fit. What is on my face? <sighs> and now I'm gonna go take my puppy for a little walk. And then tomorrow I will deal with the housing and everything else. I've had enough for today. <laughs> Good morning, it is day two of installing this solar kit on the roof. Today, we are going to start by cutting the holes in the roof to bring the housing and the wires down. So there are two wires that need to go up through the ceiling and connect to the solar panels. There is a positive one, all of these ends are positive and there is a negative one. All of these ends are negative. I think this cable is about six aug, so it's like a medium thickness. So we are gonna use a big drill bit to drill holes in the roof and figure out where we wanna run the cables so that we can then, we're actually gonna to try to put our ceiling on today's home. So let's get started. This is the housing for the cables that goes on the roof. So we're just figuring out where the holes go the cable will go through here and then we're also going to drill some screws through here to secure it to the roof so we're not just using tape and silicon so it's a little more secure that's where it's going yeah do you want me to go down and just check yeah where this runs to okay top where it is Tap where you are. I think it's, there's like a metal pole there. Um, so we're just tracing the housing where it's gonna go and then we'll drill some holes so the cables can go down. We didn't mess something up like we always do. <laughs> yeah, that's good. We're good. Yeah, perfect. Okay, we've got our tools, we got the wire, we have butyl tape, and we are going to drill the holes to screw this in. Well, it's definitely is. You can stretch them a little bit. So this is how it goes. Okay, don't and throw these away. These help stop water from getting in the housing. So these go in the tops. They go around the cable. And then the cable goes 
in the housing. And when you tie this, the rubber squished and stop and more go in. Okay. Cables in. Give me more cable here. Screw this a little bit in. It's loose, but it goes. Okay. Now I'm gonna go down and pull the cable. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah. You gotta push it this way, darling. For the balls. Okay. Good job. All right, the housing is secure. We have butyl tape down the bottom. And then we've just put these self-tapping uh, wood to metal screws in. These screws are technically not necessary, but we do it to be safe, better safe than sorry. And then we will silicon around, like I silicon the feet too. So we're just gonna pull these cables through, down into the band now. Ideally, if you add some red tape, you can mark the positive, but I can only find blue, so let's not forget. And we're not gonna need all of this cable, so I'm gonna mark it in the middle. In our last build, we actually reused a lot of this zigzag cable, um, the stuff that we cut off to wire um, things like our bus bars and our fuse box, so if you do need some wire, definitely save what you don't need because this stuff is expensive. Okay, silicon job done. And now we will work on the inside of the electrical system. But in a little bit later, we're gonna build the roof now. So I will come back to you. As always, thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and stay tuned for next week's episode as we connect the entire electrical system. We finish setting up our 300 watt Renogy kit and we take you along as we finally get power in the van.